Okay, this is me not making a trail video. We got three inches this morning. We're supposed to get three inches today, and it wasn't even supposed to start yet. But here it is, and it's just getting started again. Let's see what we end up with. Okay, uh, I'm not going to be going outside for a while, so I thought we'd look at the uh, garage, give us something to do. I'm getting pretty bored staying in the house. Anyways, there's my uh, light, just an LED. Try not to kill you with the bright. Uh, this is my, it's a two stall garage, and you can see with my little low budget guitars I got hanging on the wall there but uh, this thing's huge it's 30 by 30 here's my wiring to the to the light a little plug on it I usually run a 3S on this uh, these are where the electric goes back to that little switch down there that runs the uh, light on the workbench don't know why I put a switch in, just, yeah, it's fine. Moving around here, while I got the camera on, we're on the outside. You can see all it is is a quarter inch poster board, and I just used angle irons to pull it together, or angle clip. And down there, that is it's painted plywood, gray plywood, and uh, the little plastic table I got from a Goodwill store, secondhand store, just something cheap to set it on. This is where I keep it out in the, we're in the basement. And uh, anyways, let's get this thing opened up. Okay, that's that's not hinged. I just can pivot it because of the way it's sitting. Okay, I hope this shows up. It's not going to be bright down here. I don't have any stage lights or anything like that. I just do what I do. Uh, these strip lights, they have the glue on the back, but I still I put zip ties on. I don't trust those things. Uh, and you can see the hob hobby woods. I've all stained them and painted in the garage uh, this is a pinstripe the garage just turned out spectacular mostly by luck I had yeah that's it the uh, door over there is fake 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 just made it out of wood and glued it up there uh, electric box is wood my big countertop here the uh, toolbox it's actually just uh, OSB wood whatever you guys call it uh, and I put checker plate on the front and then I took a ruler and a paint stick and just drew the drawers on there and added these little plastic square bar pieces to make the uh, handles on them the stereo of course you can see those are just light covers and I painted that black and silver to look like speakers and the uh, receiver is just on the internet I looked for receivers for sale and printed out a picture of one and cut it out and put it on there uh, my air hose that's uh, electric cable with uh, actually a drive shaft pin in there that's a can of something or other uh, out of the cupboard. The air compressor has a uh, RC motor uh, engine head on it there. 
just to look like a motor. And uh, you know, here's a shot of the front corner. Same thing, just angle clips. On the inside here, these wooden one by ones, same thing, hobby wood. I drilled up through the 5 8 plywood and I screwed those straight down on there. And that's what gave me my solid connection to do the walls and uh, hold everything together. Uh, that workbench is, you can see the same thing, it's just made out of hobby wood. I added electrical cords to the welder and put little ends on them. Uh, just a bottle for the trash can. And uh, oh, that mobile horse there, it has a foam board behind it to kind of make it stand out more like a real uh, mobile sign. Now these doors, they were my last project. I wanted to have really nice doors and I saw Joe Conti's video and yeah, <laughs> those are nice doors. So I was thinking what could I possibly do to make doors? And uh turns out you can get away with it you can get away with murder on a video camera. These are my doors. Just plain particle board. Just used an ink pen. And uh, they work great. I'm going to add more stuff as I go along. But I, I sit and think about it for a good while before I do anything just to make sure I'm really going to want to do that. And then I mess it up and do it again. <laughs> but these electrical wiring, you see, the cables, the conduits, I took apart a 14-2 electrical, plain old white, you know, two-line electrical. And uh, if you put these pieces, uh, just like one of these, one at a time, put them in a vise and pull them with a pair of pliers. Really yank, yank them hard. And you can make them straight. And then you can bend them with pliers and whatever. And you can really make some nice stuff with them. That's when my conduit's black and I use the, the ground, the copper, for uh, the copper air lines. And the light's off, but I have an air hose and a couple of outlets down there in my uh, workbench. Okay, well, there you go. A little rundown of how I built my garage. And uh, all you got to do is really just start doing it. It'll come to you. I'm no specialist. So if I can do it, you can do it. We'll see you.